we are discussing the one more concept voltage division rule voltage division rule in this voltage division rule series in this voltage division rule current is series current in series current in series current is same but current in same voltage is different di yeah. voltage is different current in same current in same voltage is different how to draw these are the three resistance this is the voltage this is the voltage this is the r1 this is the r2 this is the r3 this this voltage is called voltage at r1 this voltage is called voltage oh, yes r2 this voltage is called voltage at r3 this is called current the current is same the current is same the voltage is different the voltage is different this total voltage is equal to this three voltages how can solve this kind of problems first you can find out the r equivalent these three resistance first you can find out r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 why because these three are in series voltage division rule in series voltage division rule in series voltage division rule in series current is same voltage is different r equivalent is equal r1 plus r2 plus r3 this is called r equivalent basically v is equal to ir yes if you what you want voltage v is equal to ir according to we can calculate voltage across the individual parts if you voltage across basically how we can kind of total current i is equal to v by r total current i is equal to v by r if total total voltage by total current is equal to total voltage by total r equivalent then you will get the current if you r equivalent you are calculated if you calculate individual voltage voltage at r1 voltage at r1 equal to total voltage into same resistance by r1 plus r2 plus r3 you can get the voltage across this area you will get after that voltage across vr2 is equal to total voltage into r2 resistance this resistance by total r equivalent r1 plus r2 plus r3 this is the voltage across this point after that voltage across this point voltage at r3 is equal to total voltage into resistance at 3 by r1 plus r2 plus r3 volt we can calculate voltage across this point finally this three voltage is equal to this voltage finally we can calculate voltage vr1 vr2 vr3 as k this you will get that this this formulas we can calculate anything any resistance any voltage across this element voltage across this element voltage across this element in problematic uh, some main voltage is given current is given voltage across this the remaining voltage this way so many problems we are given we can solve according to this formulas current current division rule this rule all resistors are in parallel all resistors are in parallel in this parallel circuits current is different current is different voltage is same voltage is same current division rule all resistors are in parallel in this parallel mode current is different voltage is same
this is called current okay this is called total current this current is called current at r1 this is resistance r1 this is resistance r2 this is resistance r2 this current is called ir1 this current is called ir2 this current is called ir3 the total current equal to ir1 plus ir2 plus ir3 total current in case in this uh, most of the problems is given current at particular resistance R, current at r1 current at r2 current at r3 how to calculate first you calculate the r total 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 this is called 1 by r equivalent r, r 1 by r total 1 by r equivalent r 1 by r total current at a particular branch how to calculate current at r1 current at in this particular branch how to calculate total current into r2 r3 by r1 r2 r2 r3 r3 r4 r1 r2 r1 r2 r2 r3 R3, R1, R3, R1. You will get current at this branch. After that, current at R2, current at in this branch, we can calculate total current into means which area you can calculate remaining two resistance R1, R3. Below is the same R1, R2. R2, R3, R3, R1. This way we can calculate in this branch current. After IR3, current at R3. Same, which branch you are calculating left to that resistance, remaining two resistance you are taking. Total current into remaining two resistance R1, R2 by R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R4. Sorry, R3. R1. This is the way you can calculate. Anyone has given, you can calculate. Main is given. You can calculate this current, this current, this current. You can easily calculate with help of this current division rule. In current division rule means all resistors are in parallel. If inductor resistor is same, capacitor will be changing, but Parallel and the series inductor resistor is same, but capacitor is the quite reverse. If it is in series, that is in parallel. If it is in parallel, that is in series, just quite opposite. Resistors and inductors is same, but capacitor is the quite different. This way we can calculate.